I want to be there in my city. Oh, 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 oh. And it is the truth. Bay Area, we are live here for the late, late, late show. Thank you for joining me here tonight for just a little touch of the just add Heather show. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, and when I have to make up my own little sounds, that's kind of fun and ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you for being with me tonight, whoever is out there in the Facebook, Instagram world, in the live land. Tonight we're coming to you just a little bit late, and it looks like we're not late because Kippy Marks is joining us here, which means we are exactly on time. Thank you for being with me, Kippy. And, of course, my other dearest love, Mr. Yair Evnen over here on the Instagram. And I'm um, thinking of you guys so much tonight, and you know that Graham is running around with a little whiteboard behind me. So if you guys have any requests for these little lemony almond sponge cakes, please let me know um, because I'm ready to sing anything. I really came into tonight with zero idea of what to do other than the fact that we need to make a cake tonight that is just a sponge cake, just a lemony springy sponge cake. And you know I'm a big fan of nuts, almond flour that is. And so we will be making a gluten-free, dairy-free lemon almond flour sponge cake. So now back to uh, the program, ladies and gentlemen. Today was one of those days that was just too good outside to come indoors and start preparing for the show. I was enjoying myself laying out there so much, just soaking up that D, vitamin D that is, and um, I had a hard time. I didn't want to let it end, but I knew that I needed to come to you for whatever it's worth and show you a little recipe tonight, simple recipe. I do believe it only has six ingredients. Let's see. Seven, if you include a little salt. So, yeah, six ingredients tonight. And um, we have a Meyer lemon tree out back, so bounty of lemons. Uh, I want to say it looks like we have a couple people on board. Oh, I, I'm just, you know, I'm just coming so late. It just seems like everybody must be getting their very important rest tonight and going to bed early. And I, oh, a magical assistant loves to do some sleeping early. He's a very, very serious type of fellow. Serious kind of guy. He's a serious kind of guy. And um, I'm just not, because uh, it's spring break. Um, it's Girls Gone Wild. Um, yeah, it's spring break for us. The kids have no school tomorrow. So, you know, we're going to party like it's s close to 1999. I don't know. I'm living here in my being 1999 and I don't know if you're still with me Yair but we could talk about it what you were doing on New Year's 1999 while I crack some eggs now this recipe calls for those of you who are baking along kippy okay light it up baby four eggs separated but I'm gonna do a little math tonight because this uh, cake is for a eight inch round spring form and this is a 10 inch I like it a little bigger, you know what I mean, Yair? So I am going to separate six eggs because we're going to do a one and a half times, which means we're doing math tonight, and math is just not my forte, so perhaps you can help me with this one and a half. Four eggs obviously will be six eggs instead of eight. And um, you got to just be careful when you crack your eggs, baby, to make sure that no yolk goes into your white. This is the important part of the recipe because uh, that will make it so that your whites do not fluff up and then and then you, you, you've wasted your eggs and you can't do anything. And it's ruined, guys. So I don't know if Kirby's with us. Let's tag him. See what's up. Could be on a date. Um, <laughs> or 
better be on a date with me. <laughs> Little old me. All right, three eggs. And so, yeah, Kippy, what do you think? Are you still with us, babes? Do you have any ideas about what would be good to sing tonight? I love to ask for requests, um, multiple reasons. One, I've sung just about every song I know um, on our 54 episodes. Hello, Veronica Lee, joining us from NYC. And I wonder what you would like me to sing. I've done, this is, I think, episode 54. Let's see, that's three, four. I have to count. At five. Guys, oh, almost messed that one up. Oh, I'm so almost, like almost fabulous, almost famous, almost on time. And I don't even know if that's six. Wait, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six. And um, yeah, it's not because I'm blonde, guys. It's because I've been drinking. <laughs> Isn't that a good excuse? This is season two, episode 12. And don't get any yolk in there, guys. You're going to mess it up. Oh my God, I almost got a yolk in there. Oh, oh, it's so serious. It's so serious that it's like right. It just. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I did it. I freaking did it. Okay, so if you do what I just did, which is so bad, you 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 scoop it out with the eggshell and hope for the best. You just do that. And it's really dicey, guys. It may work, um, but I guess we're going to find out. It's live and on camera. Do you think, Timmy Ryan, that my meringue will whip? I got a little yolk in the mix. It's totally, it's totally not the deal. But it looks like I may have saved it, you know? Um, so I'm just, I want to give you one more detail on this. As I do that fun thing where I walk around, uh, you know, and hope that anybody can catch a little glimpse of my vintage shoes tonight. I, I want to let you know that the most important thing besides not getting yolks in your whites, so essential, and Michael Montgomery is over here! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, thank you for being with me, babes. I'm so sorry I couldn't take your call the other day. I was just really, really, really needing some rest after um, being at Berber on Friday night for Viva's birthday. And um, so uh, it's really wonderful to know that you're with me. Do you have any requests? I'm going to whip up my whites and hope that they whip. This is the essential part. So... A little bit of science, guys, because it's sort of a baking show, you know? Um, not only do you not put yolks in your whites, and don't let them touch, but I did. I fixed it. The other thing is make sure your vessel is completely clean. Not a spot of oil, not a spot of water, not a spot of anything in here. Crystal. Because if there's anything inside your bowl, it will not whip another little science tidbit in baking. Okay, so we're putting the whites in uh, and hoping for the best. Honestly, it was like I, I got so close. You know, you, you just get so close. I like wanted a little bit more and more and more and more and more and then something. Oh, oh, okay. That's a great request, Michael. Thank you. I'll be right back to that. Um, okay. <laughs> Did you have to go and request my favorite song? Yes. Something cool, darling. I would like to have something cool. Do we have anything, something cool that we can have? I mean, all I have right now is canned wine and tequila. Both good. So, uh, because you requested it, darling. Um, something cool. I'd like to order something cool. It's so warm here in town, and in the kitchen, too. And the heat gets me down. Yes, I'd like something cool. My, it's nice to simply sit and rest a while. Though I know it's a shame, I can't think of your name, but I can, hi, Michael. I remember your smile, always. I don't ordinarily drink.
drink with strangers. I mean, sort of. I most usually drink alone. That seems sad. But you were so awfully nice to ask me. And I'm so terribly far from home. Like my dress I must confess it's very old in fact it's from my sister's wedding but it's simple and neat it's just right for the heat save my furs for the cold like when we're back on the court next weekend about a day Oh, a cigarette, well, I don't smoke them, unless it has ganja in it, as a rule, but I'll have one, it might be fun, with something cool, this song goes on a long time, I mean, I, could I, could I, I bet you couldn't imagine that I one time had a house with so many rooms I couldn't count them all, I bet you couldn't imagine I had 15 different bows who would beg and plead to take me to the ball, I bet you couldn't picture me the time I went to Paris in the fall. But who would think the man I love, quite so handsome, quite so tall? Well, it's though, it's just a memory I had, one I almost forgot, cause the weather's so hot and I'm feeling so bad. About a day, oh wait, I'm such a fool, he's just a guy who stopped to buy me something cool. Mm. Okay, well, you know, we could speed that song up. We could speed that song up. So what else goes into our egg whites, you wonder? Cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. What the heck is cream of tartar? It's just something you make uh, slime for your kids with. Also, <laughs> makes your egg whites stiffer and they stay up longer. Okay? So we're going to do that because who doesn't want that, right? So uh, how much cream of tartar are we putting in this baby? One half teaspoon. But we are one and a halfing this recipe. So one half teaspoon times two would be one teaspoon. So we need a three-quarter teaspoon in here, three-quarter teaspoon. And it says in this recipe to add it um, before you start um, blending. But I think no, it just in my opinion, guys, is that we're going to blend a little bit first. We're also going to add the sugar, which is three-quarter cup of the white, white, white naughty stuff. Because tonight, even though we could use coconut sugar, when you're making a meringue with egg whites, coconut sugar is tricky, and it could work. Uh, you'd have to run it through a food processor a lot until you made it really fine and really fine. Um, but we don't have time for that. We got no time for that. So this is only three-quarter cup sugar in an entire cake, which isn't that much. So we're just going with it, right? So let's start whipping our sugar, cream of tartar, and the other two ingredients to this fantastic recipe, which, by the way, is so light and delicious and airy. And um, so we need one half teaspoon almond extract and one teaspoon vanilla. So what is the math there? Three quarter teaspoon this and one and a half this, right? Right, 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 right. So we're just going to gently walk over to the blender and see if the cameras follow me. And in a perfect world, they do. I'm looking for another song request, and I just can't see the comments over here. But hello, Timmy Ryan. Thank you for being with us. I know you're going to say whip it. I know you're going to do Devo on me. I mean, of course you're going to say whip it, whip it good. We do that every time, though. So let's, uh, what else, what else could we do while beating the daylights out of these whites? No pun intended. 
And it's looking pretty fluffy. Looks like our whites might have a chance here. They're foaming up and they're getting deliciously fluffy. This is the key to any sponge cake. The key to any cake with no leavening is that you must pay intense attention to your whites and make sure they fluff up. So at this point, they look pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and be brave and add my cream of tartar, tartar, tartar. And um, as soon as it starts looking really foamy and delicious, I'm gonna start adding the sugar, the good naughty, and gently, ever so, as you know. I don't know, I can't see myself here, but I wonder, it might be cute to see like the full ensemble. I don't know if I'm performing for myself, but it's fine. Now, here goes the rest. Actually, you know I'm performing for Magical Assistant. He's a big fan sometimes. Sometimes when I'm on time, which is very rare. But we try. You gotta try just a little bit harder. Oh, 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 come on and try just a little bit harder. I don't know why I thought about Janice just now, but um, yeah. That was my first favorite singer in the entire world was Janice Joplin, so. Um, she comes out ever so often. Hey, this looks like it's really coming together good. And uh, there's so many particularities about egg white. So let's just check it. Oh yeah, it's coming up to hard peaks. We're on soft peaks right now. This is almost a stiff peak. And you know, it's very important that you have a stiff peak, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna add uh, my vanilla, which I don't know if anybody can hear me, but I'm gonna add um, boop, one and a half. That looks like two, that looks like too much. Oh. I'm all about a little extra, you know. And then we're gonna add the uh, almond in there. It's looking good, baby. I mean, we gotta come up with something for this part where we're blending, uh, you know, cause when we don't have Kerbal here to throw those beats out there, it seems like we have to have a track ready for me to do a little bit of dancing over here. This could be the dancing segment. And, but for now, these are looking pretty good. I think that um, despite the fact that I almost got a little yolk in the mix, it's going good. It's going good. I'm spending 10 minutes on this here. And um, you guys know me, right? Anybody who's joining in? If it's your first time joining in, um, everything takes a long time. Everything that's good takes a long time. So these are the whites with the vanilla almond extract, three quarter cup sugar, six egg whites, looking stiff and foamy, ready to fold into the mix. But I, mm, uh, I have some experience with this, so I just wanna say that there are a few things that still go wrong, guys. So I'm here to let you know the pitfalls of a sponge cake. Now we have yolks that we are going to blend up with almond flour and salt, and then fold in the egg whites, throw them in the oven. Just throw them in, baby. Throw those babies in. So uh, in the next part, very extremely essential, a sifter. And this is my family sifter from my childhood, which is why it looks so ancient. Because, you know, you've got to live a little, lose a little, and even sing the blues a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. And Viva's joining us over here on the Just Dad Heather, my dearest angel, angel goddess creation. I'm thinking of you and um, I have all these egg whites because I was gonna make an angel food cake and then I didn't get it done in time. So I could have been later with a cake. Oh, so many things I wanna do. Let's, let's do that later. Angel cake for the angel. This is a very big birthday weekend for the powerful Aries in the world. This is my uh, father's birthday, my stepmom's birthday, my dear friend Viva's birthday, many birthdays happening. So, uh, all right, so we're gonna do the almond flour because we gotta get back to the recipe. Now, one and a half cups almond meal. Okay, two times, that would be three cups. 
So this is going to be two and one quarter cups almond meal. Oh my God, math on the fly. It's really happening. Uh, and I suggest everybody make sure, make sure that you sift generously your almond flour. And hope that there's no water in this bowl, which there looks like there is. Okay, that's one. And are you baking along, Kippy? Two. And one quarter. So we're going to have to say, Bobby Bob, thank you so very much, Bob, for your wonderful almond meal. I love your products, darling. And I've been working with them so very, very closely. And I love what you do, Mr. Bob. <laughs> we're reminiscing and going back. Uh, back to the beginning, back to the start. When I started this program uh, a year ago, March 26th, so we are on the one-year anniversary. March 26th was the one-year anniversary of this show. And we are on episode 54, season two, episode 12. And what does this mean, guys? This means that um, I need to, like, get Netflix or Amazon or somebody to make this show so we can really get cracking, if you know what I mean. And uh, this sifter is kind of broken, which is what makes it awesome. Still works. Still working. Even though some of us get a little bit broken down, still good. The breaking just lets the light shine through, and the cracks represent all of the stories in our life. Speaking of stories and storytellers, where's that joyful raven? Maybe we should tag her. Now, I made this earlier. It's a little secret I'm just going to blow up right now. And I totally messed it up, guys, because I think I had too much almond flour. So I'm going to be really freaking serious right now about measuring this thing, because this is really the key. Um, I'm nervous about adding too much. So I'm going to do it a little different because I've done it before, darling. And um, what I didn't do right before, I'm going to do right now. Which is make sure that you have measured your almond flour right. Even one granule more is going to be too much. Too much, too much, too much. So, and um, I wonder if there's still any requests. I got something cool from Michael. We did a little journey already. That's one cup. You got what? Uh, brown eyed boy. Oh, brown eyed girl. You, my brown eyed boy. Do you remember when we used to sing? Sha la 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 ti da. Is that the song you were thinking about? Oop, that's not exactly two cups. Sha la 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 ti da, la ti da. I was missing you the other night, on Friday night at Berber. And I say it like that because that's how Juliano would say it. We need our one quarter cup measuring. I'm just making sure this is exact this time because it was such a difficult last time. Okay. See, even though I thought I had two and a quarter cups, I had a little bit more, and that is what you don't want. So I'm putting it back. Where am I putting it back? Oh, yeah, I put it back. Yeah, I'm putting it back. Um, sha la 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 ti da la ti da. And if I knew the rest of the words, <laughs> I would definitely be singing a day like that. So give me another Van Morrison one. Because are we on Van Morrison night tonight? I'm into that. So six egg yolks into the bowl, into the bowl, baby. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. All right. Oh, salt. Salt. Now, usually salt is not in a cake with no leavening, but tonight it is. And how much salt is in here? 
a quarter teaspoon. So that would be what? A half a teaspoon, a little less than half. A little less than half, because we're doing math tonight. Tonight is math night. There we go. And I said there's no leavening in this, but I, s there doesn't have to be, but I'm, I'm just going to double up on this because there's so many factors about this. One teaspoon, which I'll explain in a bit. Um, yeah, there should be no leavening in this, guys. This is a no leavening weekend, but one teaspoon. One time. Just give me just one more time. Um, but I just want to be sure that it comes out right. Now, in order for you to do this with no leavening, it would be extremely essential to make sure that the egg whites did what they did. And um, for one that had zero leavening, I would probably use less um, almond flour. So I would still go with the six egg whites and do maybe like a cup and a half of the almond flour and you have to be very serious about the folding so you don't squash your air bubbles. But right now I put a little baking powder in there because we're drinking and we're baking and we're baking and we're drinking. And that's what we're doing. And I've got, um, um, so that's ready to go. That's ready to go. And this is what fooled me before. You're supposed to put the wet to the dry. And Aaron would know about this. Uh, Mr. Kerbal. But I would not suggest that. I would put the dry to the wet here. And just mix slowly because it's going to be dry and crumbly, guys. Dry and crumbly. And those are not good words, right? There's nothing you can do with dry and crumbly. It's like, no. And this does not have lemon juice in it, which is odd because it's very lemony. It's all zest, baby. Just like me. All zest. So do we have anything else besides that Van Morrison request, Mr. Kippy Marks? Because I'm looking to um, make sure that I sing your favorite songs today, if I know them. You know, if it was Van Morrison time and I could actually think of the lyrics, my favorite Van Morrison song, I think, um, is Into the Mystic. Yeah. Into the Mystic. Now, this looks so paste-like, right? How the hell are we going to fold whites into this thing? It's like peanut butter here. I don't even understand. It made me feel like I had too much almond meal last time, and it, it made me want to put water in here or cream or some kind of liquid. And I have to say, don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, if you have to, boop, maybe a little vanilla. Vanilla probably couldn't hurt it, you know? Vanilla, no, it's fine, fine, fine. Um, oh, I know. How about this, Kippy, if you're still with us? Is Kippy still with us? Is he? Maybe. <laughs> Graham's convinced it's way too late for anybody. <laughs> but I'm just like a late night gal. Um, oh, and it's a full moon in Libra. So, you know, because it's a full moon in Libra, it's a marvelous night for a moon dance with the color and stars in the sky. A fantabulous night to make romance or an almond flour cake. Ba -da 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 -da. What are the trees, leaves on the trees are falling to the sound of the breezes that flow. I don't even know if I have the right lyrics. <laughs> there and then you can. <laughs> no, the night's magic seems to whisper and hum. I mean, I'm trying to remember a song I haven't heard in ages. Oh, uh, moonlight seemed to shine in your heart. Oh, he's looking it up for me. Can I just have one more moon dance with you, oh my love? Can I just make some more romance with you, oh my love? Ba -da -da. Okay, so this looks like it would never work, right? It's so dry and crumbly. I was, like, not believing that it was possible. Oh, you're back on Sam Cook again. Oh, I could do Sam Cook all day. But this is the recipe, guys. Strange as it is. Strange, strange days they are upon us. But you're going to have to fold your whites into here and make it work, which I was very curious how it could work. <laughs> but it does, guys. It does. I just take a tiny little bit and put it in there. And maybe this tiny little bit will be the part that gets this 
uh, you know, a little wetter. You know, you got to do a lot to get a little wetter, guys. And um, you got to put a little muscle into this thing. So I got to, I'm going to probably break out a little forehead schwitzing here. <laughs> a fantabulous night to make romance. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, it's a marvelous night for a moon dance. It's actually a full moon, guys. With the stars up above in your eyes. A fantabulous night to make romance neath the color of... What month are we in? March, guys. All the leaves on the trees are falling to the sound of the breezes that blow. Yeah, I'm trying to please to the calling of your heart springs that play soft and low. You know, the night's magic seems to whisper and hush. You know, the soft moonlight seems to shine in your blush can i oh i'm singing it terrible can i just have one more moon dance with you oh my love i'm trying to read it at the same time can i just make some more romance with you oh my love i mean i mean this yeah I want to make love to you tonight. I can't wait till the morning has come. Well, you know that the time is just right. And straight into my arms you will run. And when you come, my heart will be waiting to make sure that you're never alone. There and then all my dreams will come true, dear. There and then I will make you my own. And every time I touch you, you just tremble inside. I hope, I hope, I hope so. And you know how much you want me. You want me that you can't hide, can I? Just see how I get to the, the big. Can I just have one more moon dance with you, oh my love, Kippy? Can I just make some more romance with you, oh my love? Okay, this is like you're looking at it and you're thinking, there's no way this is going to come out. Why does it take so much finessing? Um, and that's what he said, guys. <laughs> because it does. Because it takes a lot of finessing. And um, uh, the leavening is these egg whites, so I didn't really want to beat them up too much. But it's just like the almond flour is so grainy in here. It doesn't look right. But we're getting close. And we haven't even put in the zest, so don't let me forget that. Uh, it's a good thing I did a little bit of working out today. <laughs> I'm turning beet red, I think. I don't know if it's like I'm hot or sunburnt. Could be both. Do we have Ken Heratunian with us tonight? Do we have Serby Anderson with us tonight? Shoot, I'm terrible at promoting, so I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm looking for um, somebody to help support me in my self-promotion game. It's, it's my self-promotion game is so off, guys. I really am terrible at it. Do we have Mr. Kerbal with us tonight? better tag that boy I'm missing him something serious and if we were here tonight we could really chop it up but as you know Kerbal comes when Kerbal wants to so we will be hopefully doing a show for you in the next coming weeks which um, hopefully he's getting some FOMO and he'll just be here next weekend my dear missing my sweet treats and shenanigans, but this is looking pretty good. Okay, so I broke up the almond meal pretty good. Just I just beat the heck out of it here with you guys, you know? And now I'm folding in these whites, which these should be our good leavening because I'm not going to mix them too much. It's technically I'm folding. This is folding big. Look at this. It's like, it's sort of like this. It's like just a little bit harder, slower, softer gently now it is the two tablespoons of zest uh, from the Meyer lemons which I did earlier <laughs> that's my cooking voice you guys like it I did earlier <laughs> that's my good girl voice I'm gonna work on it it goes 
And now we're ready to put it in the pan at 350 degrees and bake for 30 minutes. Yes, okay. So that's all looking so sexy, it's freaking perfect. It's better than the first time. Isn't it always better the second time, guys? No, I highly suggest that, and I want to do a toast to the second time. Um, okay, so that's, that's like ready. I'm so sticky. I can't lick my fingers because the fact that it's a raw egg. All right, so springing, springing. I think only like two people are on right now, but I, I'm just so happy for those two people. Thank you, Kippy, for being with me. I know it's so late. You never know when's the right time to go on for people, but you just got to do what you got to do, you know? You do what you got to do in living color. And tonight the color is, Kippy, the color tonight. It, the color tonight is, oh, that didn't ding. No, that didn't ding. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> I've already greased, luxuriously greased with coconut oil, my springform pan put in a piece of parchment that I cut out myself and then greased again. So easy breezy lemon squeezy, darlings. This is our 10 inch springform pan. If you have just a regular cake pan that's eight inches, then, you know, then we would use that and just do the four, the four, uh, eggs instead of the six, but I wanted to go big, you know, because it's go big or go home, darlings. This is the one time, it's now or never, and that's what I think every week when I think about taking a week off, people are like, you could take a week off, and I'm like, yeah, and do what? Bake not on camera? I don't know. So, we're going to put this in the oven, and bake not on camera, or n not do camera? Uh, the truth of the matter is that um, it helps keep me motivated, it helps keep me focused, and um, since I want to always perform, then I don't want to lose my, I don't want to lose my chops, guys. So whether I do it good, uh, do it soft, do it hard, whatever I do, at least I'm doing the do, and it goes in. Oh, that looks so good. I put a little extra, a little extra zest. You know, like we do, zesty, zesty. And I'm going to put it at 32 minutes. 32 minutes. Yeah. So you're thinking, is she going to sing for 32 minutes? Maybe. Maybe. Or we could be professional and potentially have an already pre-prepared dessert. Wouldn't that be exciting? Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. Let's see, let's see what's happening. In living color. Okay. Oh my gosh. If Aaron was here, we would have the big drum roll right now and it would be very exciting. Oh look, I can see on the monitor what I look like from behind. Hmm. Oh car. Dun 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 dun. Yes, I had to try it earlier. So here is this magical pre-made lemon almond sponge cake in the spring form. I'm just going to take it out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. Oh, it works. And we could also just take it off the pan and put it on here. Oh my gosh, it came out perfect. And I didn't think it would because the almond flour was clumpy and dry and it was all in there and it wasn't fully mixed. And I was like, oh, this is totally a failure, dudes. But no, it came out gorgeous. So don't trip. <laughs> keep going even if it doesn't look right. Just keep going, you know? Like the little, uh, like what would um, Dory say in Nemo? Just keep going. Just keep swimming. We're just swimming along. And um, I'm going to bring this up and front and center for all of you to see that it's just that easy with these very limited ingredients. This is a very eggy-licious cake, but it can be made without that baking powder. And it should be made without the baking powder, but uh, it just looks so <laughs> gorgeous that it, I, I think it needs some cream. Don't you think? Cream, get on top. 
Cream, don't you stop. Cream, sugar gay, bop. <laughs> I, d I think that's the words. <laughs> okay, I have made some mm, coconut cream whip, which is just a can of coconut cream in the fridge for just a bit, and then whipped up however you like to whip it in this or in a hand mixer or however. I whipped it with a tiny bit of powdered sugar and lemon zest and vanilla and it is perfect. So let's, let's ice this baby, ice, ice baby. Yeah, and when I'm here alone in the kitchen, you know, the silence reminds me that I have to get back to explaining why we do what we do for those of you that are just joining in. And is that, is that, uh, who's joining in? Can you hold that up again? Oh, okay, I thought you said cyber yoga. City Girl Love, thank you for being with us here tonight. And if this is your first time on the Just Add Heather Show, welcome to Baking with Bananas. Oh, we're not using bananas tonight. Baking with Bonkers. Baking with, Baking with me. <laughs> and uh, so we're just frosting our little sweetie baby here. And you can put berries or whatever you like on top. But this satisfies your gluten-free, dairy-free folks. However, it is not vegan because of the eggs. So that would be super difficult. Actually, I don't think you can make a sponge cake or anything like this without the egg white. And that leaves me to think that perhaps I should do some more vegan recipes because I've got a lot. I don't want to leave anybody out. And vegans like to have dessert, too. So perhaps I should do a vegan recipe next. I don't know. I just get so excited about um, things with eggs. I don't know. I used to have chicken, so maybe that's it. And, um, ooh, something smells very, very, very smoky in there. Doesn't it smell smoky? It smells smoky. Eh. It smells smoky, guys could be the, the droppings of um, granola that I was recently making. For those of you who have been craving some, I just made a batch. And Kippy, you mentioned that you would like uh, a jar. So I'm thinking about that. Oh. And I'm thinking about just some berries on top here, just something simple to make it easy. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. And for this short edition of the Just Add Heather show, until we get back to our full culinary kitchen cabaret outside baking on the barbecue, it's nice to just have a little bit of time together. And I see, that I don't know what that says, but it looks good. Oh, won't you send me a request? As a closer, I can't read my comments tonight. We don't have Kerbal. My partner, my partner, my partner in, um, in all things delicious on this show. But we have to carry on, guys, even when things aren't the way that we want them to be. And that's the message of do it anyway, which is it, you must continue to shine your light. And... Um, and be your most self and do it even against the odds and push yourself beyond. So these are my little mantras that I give myself before I go live, you know, to just uh, feel better about doing it without my, my wonderful um, band of great, great friends that usually are here. And, and two, two hands, use two hands. Oh, okay, he says use two hands. He does that. <laughs> okay, but I do two, I d would use two hands, but uh, then I can't hold the mic, so I don't have to hold the mic, that's right. Speaking of holding the mic, oh my goodness, cheers to singing live uh, in the future in live performance venues, such a crazy idea, but um, I spent so much time performing in my kitchen that, you know, I've sort of gotten attached to it. 
If only we could have a film crew roll in here. Uh, well, we have a film crew, magical assistant. Um, or just get this show out there for everybody to see. So for those of you that are watching who are first time on the Just Add Heather show and don't know that you can put a request in, you can also share this live stream and let other people know about uh, what we're doing here, baking live with music. And, uh, and share it. People are so scared to share. I feel you. Like, they're, like, nervous about sharing. It seems like we all have share anxiety. Is that a thing? Can I get some comments on that? Share anxiety? Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Looks like just Timmy and Kippy with me tonight. That's totally cool, guys. I love it. I love that you're both with me and, um, and supporting me. It, it could take another 20 minutes to put all these raspberries on here, and I just want to do it one-handed. Perhaps you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just had this song pop into my head because I have this ridiculous radio in my head that has like crazy songs that just pop in out of nowhere and with no rhyme or reason. This happens to me throughout the day. I don't know who else has this like, you know, radio brain, but um, I had a funny one just pop in. And since we're at the end of the show, it seems like appropriate to do it. Just a little, uh, little something playful. While tearing off a game of golf, I may make a play for the caddy, but when I do, I don't follow through because my heart belongs to daddy. If I invite a boy some night to dine on my fine Vin and I just adore his asking for more, but my heart belongs to daddy. Yes, my heart belongs to daddy, so I simply couldn't be bad. Yes, my heart belongs to daddy. Da, 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 da. Dad. So I want to warn you, laddie, though I know that you're perfectly swell, that my heart belongs to daddy, cause my daddy treats it so well. <laughs> and that is just a tiny, tiny bit of, um, of the naughty song that was rolling around in my brain. And it seems like we have one thing more that we need for this gorgeous cake, and that's just a bit of garnish. Garnish? You say, what would we be doing without garnish? Ooh, it smells like something's on fire in here. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it again. I mean, what, a little tiny flower in there or just a lemon? One lemon or a flower. These are the things I think about. It looks kind of good like that. What do you think? Just like two lemons? I don't know. It's something. I, oh, kind of like this, huh? Like that. Oh, okay. And then I would sprinkle some like little edible flower thingies on top. But for now, this is our lemon almond flour cake, lemon sponge cake with almond flour, uh, coconut whip, and raspberries. So we got a gluten-free, dairy-free dessert. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And we will be coming back to you next weekend. I couldn't miss a weekend without doing this. It's become a ritual now. So uh, before we head out, um, yes, we are drinking tequila. Before we head out, a little impromptu jam to close out the night. Thank you, Kippy. I can see the applause, even though it's far away. <laughs> I'm squinting. I'm like, can I see that? I think that I should have cleared out whatever is um, granola in there, but we can't open it now. But it is burning. Yeah, the whole house is smoky. It's, it's the granola stuff. Woo! It's intense, huh? Baby. Because we're burning. I'm burning up, burning up for your love. I'm burning up, burning up for your love, for your love. Oh my gosh, how did I get?
get Madonna in the brain. That is so random. Do you want to see me down on my knees? <laughs> Probably. Bending over backward now, would you please? <laughs> Try to play with a pick. I never do that. And because I get so nervous about playing guitar live, you know, and I never did it before this show ever, I try to remember that like this doesn't live forever on the internet. I'm just like block it out. Keep going on, keep being me, and we'll go on another weekend, do one more show, cause hey baby, you never, never know, but all the while I'm just burning up, I just can't seem to get enough. Take your lemons and make a little cake. Take everything that you got and see what you can make. And don't worry about the outcome, cause it's about baking it up and seeing what comes up. So we come back to you again next week on the Just Add Heather Show. And what we will be making, boy, you will never know until it's time for the show. And we go for Saturday nights, Saturday nights. That's right. Occasionally we throw in a Sunday. Day.
if you really want the recipe, send me a message and I'll be happy to send it out to you. I want to make sure that everybody knows that I do want you to try some of these recipes. So um, it's my great honor and privilege to be able to perform again tonight for those of you who happen to be here for the live stream. And um, Erica Sunshine. Oh, thank you for joining us, Erica Sunshine. Um, if you happen to be here for the live stream, thank you for supporting me tonight. And for those of you that watch it later, um, yeah, this is a good cake. All right, till the next time, baby. We'll see you again soon on the Jaw Live. I'm lost and I'm looking for my baby. Wondering where my baby can be found. Oh, I'm lost and I'm searching for my baby. Lord knows he ain't around. <laughs> Pretty buzz tonight. I hope it turned out all right.